I am a teacher and a parent. And like everyone, I am sorry, sad, heartbroken, shook, and angry about these babies and so many other beautiful people being senselessly slaughtered by terrorist cowards hiding behind fancy guns. I teach digital video and five years ago we were asked to make a PSA, a public service announcement, following the horrific Stoneman Douglas shooting. This is us running into a closet hoping to live through this fake school shooting. Hiding in the closet is no match for a guy having a bad day, blaming the world for his massive shortcomings, all while having access to this real life weapon of war. This is Sandy Hook's PSA about tomorrow's school shooting. What additional details can you share with us? Well, someone is expected to tell us after the shooting that the shooter has been posting on social media about doing this for weeks. So how will you explain the shooting to your daughter? Actually, I won't get to explain it to her because she won't make it. This is Christine Lynn reporting from the scene of another shooting. We'll say we never saw coming. When are we going to do something? I'm tired. I'm, I'm so tired of getting up here and offering condolences to, to the devastated families that are out there. I'm so tired of the, excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm tired of the moments of silence. Enough. There's 50 senators right now who refuse to vote on H.R. 8 which is a background check rule that the House passed a couple of years ago. It's been sitting there for two years. And there's a reason they won't vote on it, to hold on to power. So I ask you, Mitch McConnell, I ask all of you senators who refuse to do anything about the violence and school shootings and supermarket shootings, I ask you, are you going to put your own desire for power ahead of the lives of our children and our elderly and our churchgoers? Anybody who's willing to start to make a difference is somebody we need on our side here. And this is about people who are for making a difference to save us and people who are against it and prefer money. So, Senator Rubio, can you tell me right now that you will not accept a single donation from the NRA in the future? There, that, that is the wrong way to look. First of all, the answer is people buy into my agenda. You could say no. Number second, well, I, so, I Guys, the influence of any group. We're gonna be here all night. The influence of these groups comes not from money. The influence comes from the millions of people that agree with the agenda. So the millions of Americans that support the NRA and who all support right. gun rights Sorry, groups. Senator. Guys. The name, in the name of 17 people, you cannot ask the NRA to keep their money out of your campaign? I think in the name of 17 people, I can pledge to you that I will support any law that will prevent a killer like this No, but I'm talking getting NRA money. No, no, because... Well, what did we learn in school today, everybody? To change these policies, we need to change our leaders. We have to vote, and we have to finally stop this insanity. This has been, sadly, yet another public service announcement.